This car is so sick. Oh, I forgot my yogurt, BRB. It's freezing. Let's get the heat on. Hi, guys. I'm just a kid who's born. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. Yeah, you are welcome to come in. Look. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you're not, welcome back. Oh my god, I'm so cold. Come on, car, please heat up. How many degrees is it? It is 30. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's 36. I'm not even exaggerating. That's what my car says. It's 36 degrees. I was wondering. I look ugly up close. I'm sorry. I was wondering why. I need it to please, please focus on me. I was wondering why it was so cold this morning. That's why. Oh, I forgot about the backup camera for a second. That is awesome. I'm a little close to the mailbox though. If you are not returning, you probably notice my skin is really gross. My skin's not doing well, I'm sorry. Where's the heat? Come on, it's cold. Please. It's cold. Oh, there we go. If you are not new, you probably noticed a couple of things. If you watched my last video, you might or might not have noticed that I am in a different car. And the reason for that, as you can tell by the title by now, is because I was involved in my first car accident two days ago. Today is Friday, November 1st. Happy first day of November. And that happened on Wednesday, October 29th, I think, I don't, I don't know. So, basically. Here's what happened. I was on my way to work as I am right now on my way to work and it was raining. It wasn't like pouring, but it, it was enough that the roads were wet. So I was coming down this street. There were two cars in front of me. The first car, he was trying to turn left. There was a turn lane to turn left, but he was in the straight lane trying to turn left. So instead of getting into the turn lane, I guess he decided last minute that he needed to turn right there. And so he stopped in the straight lane to turn left. No, my yogurt. There was a guy behind him who was stopped. I was not tailgating or anything. The light was green, mind you. I was far enough back where I thought that everyone was still moving. As I approached, the guy who was stopped behind the guy who was being an idiot, if you drive, I'm sure you know this, but if you are stopped, you don't have to be on your brakes. Sometimes the car will like stop and you don't have to be pushing on your brakes. So that's exactly what the second guy was doing. He was stopped, he wasn't on his brakes, but his car was fully stopped. Again, I thought everybody was moving. It was raining, so in the rain, everything looks distorted. As I got closer, I realized that those two cars were stopped. So, me, I was like, oh no, I need to brake. So I pushed on my brake as hard as I could, and my brakes did the thing where they lock, and they were still braking, but like they like locked as they were braking. I guess they were like trying to turn and like it wouldn't or something, I don't know, which is normal um, when it's raining for some cars. It was one of those situations where I knew I was not going to break in time. So I had a choice. I could either try and go to the left or go to the right or like keep going straight. There was a car coming to the left, unfortunately, into the left lane. So I couldn't like swerve out. There was a car coming to the right, so I couldn't swerve out and go that way. So I had to go straight and I hit the second guy in the back. The only damage his car has is like that size like a quarter size dent. My car is all bashed up in the front. It's in a shop right now getting, it's not even getting worked on because we're waiting on the insurance company to go out because they have to look at it and determine if my car is going to be totaled or not. Now here's where I kind of start worrying just a little bit. If my car is totaled, I'm going to have to buy a new car, which means I'm gonna have to get something with payments because there's no way I can afford to buy a car outright. I'm hoping that they say my car is not totaled because the only thing that happened to it was that it was just like damaged in the front. The engine was fine. Everything was working. The airbags didn't deploy. Oh, also, if you're wondering, the first guy who was in the wrong lane trying to turn left when there was a turn lane provided to him and he just decided to not follow the law and <laughs> be in the straight lane, he wound up going straight after all of that. He didn't even turn left. And I don't even think he realized that there was an accident behind him that he basically caused. So also, I am taking responsibility. It's my fault, I hit the guy. But it wasn't because I was falling too closely and that's what the cop put on the citation. I'm letting you guys know I was not and even the guy who I hit 
He's a prosecutor. So I don't even know if I'm supposed to be like telling you all this because I'm gonna get points on my license most likely. So I have to go to court to figure that out. The guy that I hit said that I could call him if we like need anything. He could like help us out. He said if I need him to like testify or something, I don't even know if he can do that. I don't even know how it's all gonna work. But basically, I do have to go to court to fight that citation because the cop issued a citation, which means I'm most likely going to get points on my license, which is not good if you don't drive. Points are not good. You don't want points because if you get a certain amount of points, you get your license suspended. And me, a working college student who needs to go to work and school every day, I can't not be able to drive. Like I have to drive because how else am I gonna get there? I can't afford to take an Uber every day. Like that's not realistic. No one was hurt though. That's the most important thing. The only damage was done to my car. I'm okay, the guy I hit is okay. His car is basically okay. I really thought that I was gonna be able to drive for a couple years before getting into my first car accident, but clearly that didn't happen. It's only been a couple months. If you do drive, be safe, be careful out there. I know things are out of your control, like with me. Obviously this was out of my control. It was an accident. That's what they call it, car accidents. But still, be safe, be careful. This is ridiculous, I'm gonna turn around. Yeah, there's most definitely a car accident because there's an ambulance right there. Hey, my first time using the sun visor in this car. I didn't even check out the sun visor. That's what happened with me. So now I guess we can get on to like the car tour. This is what my car looks like. I'm driving um, a 2019 Hyundai Velocitor. And guys, I looked up the price tag on this car last night. This car starts at $18,500. Even I'm a little scared now. Cause I'm like, oh, I have to be extra, extra careful. Like $18,000, it's a rental. Obviously it's not my new car. I wish I could buy this car. This car is so nice. Also the base is nice. It has a backup camera. Here's a little car tour. Okay, I just figured out that there's three different modes for this car. There's sport mode, smart mode, and there's normal mode. I usually like to keep mine on smart mode because um, sport mode, uh, I was on it one time and I was driving and I was turning and I almost like hit another car as I was trying to turn because it was just so super speedy fast. that I was like, I can't handle this. I don't really see the difference between normal and smart. I'm just gonna like drive and show you guys the three different modes and also I'm gonna show you the beeping lane thing because it beeps when you go out of the lane. I think it only beeps when you're driving too close to the right side. I don't think it beeps when you're driving too close to the left. I've tried to like see if it will do it but it doesn't beep. I've only noticed it on the right side. I just got out of class and we watched this movie and I kind of fell asleep for the last half of it so I'm a little out of it so sorry about that. I have some Snapple and some candy so hopefully I'll eat that and I can perk up a little bit. That movie, it was interesting, but then got boring towards the end, so I'm kind of ready to take a nap. <laughs> also, this car has Apple CarPlay, and then if you have an Android, it has Android Auto. I have an iPhone, so I use the Apple CarPlay. So that's actually pretty nice because I can control all my things from the touchscreen, so I can listen to my music. I can change my music from the steering wheel, which is really, really nice. I can control the volume. I can call people from the steering wheel. All I have to do is push a button. And also it has cruise control. I have not used that yet because I'm not going on any highways, so I haven't had a chance to use it. And honestly, I don't even really know how cruise control works, so I don't want to use it because I'm scared that I'm gonna crash the car with me trying to use it, so we're just not gonna use it. So I'll do like an interior car tour real quick. It has a thing for me to put my sunglasses in if I want to. I don't use that because I'm scared I'm going to leave it in there and I'm going to forget them. Hi! <laughs> the back has a built-in cup holder on the seat. This is a three-door car. On the driver's side, there's uh, one door. It's just the driver's door. But on the passenger side, there's two doors. There's a passenger door. And then in the back seat, there's like a smaller door. So you can't get into the back seat from the driver's side. You have to go to the passenger side. So I don't know. I think that's kind of cool, honestly. I mean, it's probably not that cool to you guys, but... It also has Siri. So all I do is I hold it on my phone. Shuffle my songs. And there you go. Playing all songs shuffled. 
Thanks, Siri. Yes, I do have a backup camera, but I don't use it as much as I did. When I first got the rental, I used this backup camera all the time, but then I realized that like you can't rely on it 100%, so I just started to use my eyes <laughs> more because you can't rely on technology for everything, and I just don't want to hit something or someone. I want to be extra sure, and I was just like not doing well today this is kind of like a long street and i think i can get away with going a little bit fast without getting pulled over so i'm gonna switch it over to sport mode there we go it goes really fast <laughs> like really fast ah, it's like super zoomy speedy ah! <laughs> okay 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 please just stop please just stop okay <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that's sport mode. All right, I'm gonna put on the beeping lane thing too so you guys can see that or hear that, I guess. I'm going a little over to the left and it's not beeping. Now I'm gonna go a little over to the right and we're gonna see what happens. I love everything about this car. If I could afford to buy this car, I definitely would, but unfortunately, I am a broke college student who can barely afford a new phone. I'm gonna be really sad when I have to give it back I will be doing one more video about my car, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe and you have the notification bell clicked on. Okay, it's time to say goodbye. Let's turn it back over to Pastor Michelle to end the video. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell. Why are you up on my bumper? Like, can you, like, back up, please? Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to get into another car accident. If you enjoy, please like this video, share it with all your friends if you think it's something they would enjoy, maybe, possibly. Okay, again, can you get off my tail? There you go, back up just a little bit, just a little bit, thank you. Like, there's no reason for all that. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, be safe out there, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys. This car has some like turbo speed with it. I get so nervous to drive this car in parking garages. Like when I'm on the street, it's fine, but like in a parking garage, oh my gosh. Especially on a college campus where there's like reckless kids. Whoa, you gotta be extra, extra careful. Especially with a car that is not yours that you have to give back. Ah! My God, dude.